welcome back to more of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 1.5. Let's open this chest. And let's have a good look at London. You know, I've only been here once. That's about it, really. I've been close to it as well, which is Watford. I've been, but yeah. London, it's not as great as everyone makes it out to be. It's kind of like where everyone's like, oh, I really want to visit London because it's the best place in England. I'm not being funny, but there's actually more better places. Not gonna lie. Right, so, what went up? Was it my HP? I don't know what it went up. Oh well, it's fine. You'll find us, Hora, just don't get up. Well, I just noticed. One of these clocks have a different time. So, that's what we're doing. Let's collect that. Let's get the clock tower to go back to normal. By the way, little trivia, this is not Big Ben. Big Ben's the bell. There you go, clock tower. Clock tower is a keyhole. I might just go down to London, take a picture, and go. Here's the keyhole. And we've got the second Navigee piece. All right. Finally. Hey, Sora. Hmm? When we grow up, let's get off this island. We'll go on the real adventure. Not this kid stuff. Sure, but isn't there anything fun to do now? Hey, you know the new girl at the mayor's house? She arrived on the night of the meteor shower. bring her here without at least using a vessel. Remember, relying too heavily on the dark powers could cost you your heart. A castaway. Though his world perished, his heart did not. When we took the princess from his castle, he apparently followed her here through sheer force of will. But fear not. No harm will come to you. He is no match for your power. My power? Yes. The untapped power that lies within you. Now, child, it's time you awakened that power and realized your full potential. Cool. Things get interesting. Peter, are you really going back to Neverland? Afraid so. But we can see each other anytime. As long as you don't forget about Neverland, that is. <laughs> Whack him. Boy, she's getting steamed again. Do me a favor. Look after her for me, will ya? 
Boss? Yep, she's coming with you. Oh, and we've got Glide! <laughs> hey, cool. Glide's a good um, ability to raft. Right, we can't really do much, because unfortunately, we can't go back to the ship. If someone knew how, then please let me know. But I've never been able to figure that out. It might be that it's like one of those where it's like, nope, you have to go in and out. That would be annoying. Also, we are now at level 40, which means we can level up quicker now. Right, let's get to the gummy ship. Well, we found a nappy gummy piece. Let's go back to town. Said to install it on the ship once we bring it to him. And there's a tournament being held at the Coliseum. I hear there's a great reward for the winner. We will be doing that one later. For now, let's get back to Transverse Town. Right, first things first, accessory shop. Can have a look to see if we've got any new synthesis items that we can get. The answer to that is no. No, we cannot. But it's fine. Right, a couple of things we're going to do first. We're going to go to Merlin's house. Does the fairy art give me what I want? Yes, it does. Strength and it gives me my MP. So, we'll keep it. There we go. 95. We can come back and yeah, we'll sort it out later. Crap. What am I doing? I haven't even got my equipment on. There we go. Let's get those torn pages sorted. Don't need to save for this. Just try and yeah, <laughs> keep stay going normal with this. Right, where are you? Um, nope, don't like you over there. That one next. Sure. Oh. 
Oh boy. When is oh god. <laughs> Help. We'll be finding more honey together soon. Oh, rabbit! Not to pull the capitals in. Jesus, rabbit! <laughs> rabbit! With an S spelled wrong. And w. R oh, what the hell do you spell that? What? What? Why? Green summer. Nobody's home. That's right, nobody. Nobody's home. Well, let's have a look. Hello, nobody. We're coming in. Who is this person named Nobody? Nobody, have you seen rabbit? Oh my god, can you not be that? Are you that stupid? No, no rabbit here. There's no one here. Hello, rabbit. Rabbit, why did you block that? Why, for poo, what a pleasant surprise. Nice to see you too, Pickler, and. Is this a new friend? Yeah, my name's Christopher Sora. Papu, I'm sorry, but I'm all out of honey at the moment. So, do you smell honey? Oh no. Well, I do, but it's not really yours, is it? The honey? Now, how did that get up there? Would you like some poo? Don't feel you have to, of course. Oh, thank you, Rabbit. I would just like a small smackerel. I'm quite hungry. By small, you mean the entire pot. And um, poo? You're not eating the whole pot, are you? Once you start, there's no stopping you, is there? Oh, how to funny again. Sorry, Rabbit. Didn't mean to. I didn't know I'm new here. Oh well, see ya. Idiot. Well, I've done my job here. I can leave. I'm free. Help, please help. Who? What? What happened? What? What the fuck happened to him? Well, it's, well you, you've clocked it up at least, so because he ain't leaving. <laughs> Rabbit. Rabbit, look behind. You've got a door over there. This door here, look, see? Use that. Oh, help and bother. I'm stuck again. I came through this hole, so it must have shrunk. No, no, you just got fat. Greedy git. Alright, let's go and see how you are. Here's a solution. We we'll kick him in. Then he leaves the door. There. Oh, how am I ever? 
how will I heat honey if I'm stuck here? When it's lunchtime, perhaps you could bring me a honey jar? No. No honey tea on stock. If pool doesn't slim down, my house will stay plugged up forever. You've said that. If only there were something we could do. Wait, I know. A bit of carrot top juice would do the trick. I have a carrot patch on the other side of the stream. Carrot top juice is just the ticket to slimming down the pool. Ah, pool. Oh, what a name. Oh, no. What? Shotgun, get a shotgun. <laughs> hey there, name's Tigger. T I double G R. That spells Tigger. Well, now, I don't think I've ever seen you before. Hello, Tigger. You've just bounced my new friend, Sora. Hey, Pooh. Say, you're looking mighty uncomfy today. Is that some new exercise? My bouncing around is a lot more fun! <sighs> well, why do you bounce around so much, Tigger? Why? Because bouncing's what Tigger's do best! Speaking of which, my bouncing spot has gone and disappeared! So for now, this will be my new bouncing ground! <laughs> oh no. You must be joking. This is quite a fix, but I have just a solution. Pay attention now. Sora, you have to protect this carrot patch. If Tigger bounces on the carrot twice, it'll be buried. Well, thanks, Arrow. You've just done one for me. Once. Oh, there we go. We just lost one. Brilliant. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We're going to have 15, but no, you've just ruined it for me. Thanks, Arrow. Thank you. Just like that. Protect the carrots from Tigger's bounces and you'll receive points. How, you ask? It's elementary. Well, listen, Sherlock, um, you just ruined one, so thanks. Simply get to the carrots before Tigger lands on them. You are 15 carrots here. Your score depends on how many you save and how many times you block Tigger. Oh, and one more thing. <sighs> Bloody hell. The rush command is the key to a high score. Select rush while near a carrot that isn't buried yet. You'll dash to the target area before Tigger. Well, good luck. Right, so we've got to keep him off. Alright. Two hundred and twenty-four. Oh, what's going on? Nobody keeps up with tiggers. Hmm, maybe there's something wrong with my tail. Is it a time set or something, that? 
Now I better make that carrot juice top juice. I'll get the carrot, so please wait inside the house. Okay, no worries. I've got a better idea. Why don't we just, you know, kick him backwards and he comes this way. Yeah. Right, so it does go up by multiples. All we have to do now is push him out. Just a little push should do. All right then. First my vegetable patch and now this? Oh, bother. Oh, where am I? It's ever so dark in here. Well, it isn't so bad, I suppose. <laughs> there is plenty of honey. <laughs> I'm sure that's the good thing. So we got a mythical shard, so yay. And we're not done just yet. We still have two more pages to sort, as you can see. So, let's go here. Oh, we're at that episode. This was actually the first episode I saw when I was a kid. Look, Pooh, something is floating this way. I think you're right, Piccolet. What could it be? I was a little kid, I was a little kid, I was a little kid, I was a little kid. Let's not shout, let's not shout. Why? It looks like Eeyore. Hello Eeyore, if it is you. Well, it's, it looks depressed, so yeah, it is Eeyore. Hi Peter Cullen. Get out and roll out. <laughs> Hello Pooh, yes it's me. Could you pull me out, that is, if it's not too much trouble? Of course, you don't have to if you don't want to. Bloody hell, Eeyore. Every time I see you, I just want to slip my wrist. Don't ever, rem don't ever host a birthday party. Well, there's his house, made with whatever you've just done. What have you made it with? Oh, right. I'll save you! Where is he? Thank you, Pooh. Thank you for you. You know, floating along out there, it seemed like something was missing. And something's still missing. Why, your tail is gone. Is that what's missing? Let's see. Yep, lost it again. Wonder where it went this time. It's not much of a tale, though I'm sort of attached to it. But I don't know why anybody would look for it. Probably won't find it anyway. Jesus Christ, you are the most amazing thing I've ever met. You'd be a great to put smiles on people. So, why don't we all look for Eeyore's tail? Lost something? Never thought about working for the Samaritans, Eeyore. I'm sure any- I'm sure everybody won't be falling back. Searching from a high place is the quickest way to find it. Oh, can you fly up high and help us find Eeyore's tail? Sorry, but my eyes aren't what they used to be. Too much reading, you know. But I can offer good advice. Of course, you don't have to if you don't want to. See that swing up there? Take Pooh there. You're a bit too big for the swing, but Pooh should fit nicely. I'll tell you more when you get there. Right, let's go and sort him out. Pooh, you're coming with me. Um, are you coming, Pooh, or are you just going to look over there? Where are you going? God, have I put him in a glitch? 
Oh, never mind. I thought he'd never leave. Don't worry if he eats the honey, but only worry when, you know, he eats too much. Oi! This way! Get me out of here. Mind you, it's a good place for items, so you can't really complain. Right, well, let's wait for Owl to get here. Here's what to do. First, get ready to push. Ow! Well, you get your hand, you get him, and you push. Easy! Like this. Then press R1 to give Pooh a push. How's this? Not bad, not bad. Here's the next step. Press R1 before he swings back to the bottom. If you time it right, Pooh will swing higher and higher. Try it. I'll help you with the timing. Press R1 when I spread my wings. Push too soon, Pooh won't go any higher. Push too late, it'll go too high. And here we go. Thirty meters. Do I win? Oh no, I didn't. I didn't kill him. You right? We'll just try again. Because it looks familiar, it's just blooming tail. How's it looking? There we go. It's not much of a tail, but it's mine. Thanks everyone. I wish we could put the hundred acre wood back to the way it was too. We'll we'll do it. We'll do it. Don't worry. We'll get back to normal. Maybe. The torn page turned into a new item. We've got a new power, sweet. And, oh god, oh god. Not this, not this. Until then, I'll see you all in the next video. So please, take good care. Yeah, see you all very, very soon. Take care.